IT is clear, IEB theory and prac. This video is about NetBeans shortcuts. It's got a whole lot of tips about how to speed up your NetBeans programming. I'm going to show you a whole lot of Java shortcuts and on each line that I've put a comment, I'm going to show you what the shortcut does on the line below. PR tab gives you the word private. You can then declare a double by saying DB tab. You could call the number number and you've initialized it that way. PSF tab gives you private static final. Often you would declare a final, which is a constant, as a public static final. Then you can just change the word private and say it's pi, which is 3.14, and we would declare it that way. Oh, and we would have to put DB tab there. If I input a variable, say I've got an integer called age, and I input it by saying integer.pass and option pane show input dialog, please input age. The light bulb comes up because I haven't done the imports. I can go control shift I and the import will get done. If I scroll to the top, there it is. Import Java X dot swing dot J option pane. I'm going to go control Z to undo that. The light bulb appears again and I can do the short the import by clicking on the light bulb and clicking add import. This achieves the same thing. FOR tab gives me a for loop which will run from i equal to 0 up to i equal to 9 because its condition is i less than 10. This will repeat the for loop 10 times. LE tab gives me the word length. If I've got a string, I've just put the word hello into it. If I want the word the length of the word I can say um, int num equals str dot le tab will give me the word length. Sout tab gives me system dot out dot print line and then I can just fill whatever I want to there. I there. Try catch tab gives me the whole try catch constant um, construct. I can then change, I'll put whatever I want to do, which can cause an error between these two curly brackets. And then I can modify the exception, could be a number format exception, a file not found exception, and I will put the message which I want to give my user in the, these two curly brackets. WH tab gives me a while loop. SW tab gives me the construct for a switch case. Say I want to test the person's age. If they are 10, I will say, say I want to print you are 10. Didn't we input age at the top? We did. Why is that not happy? I need to stay. I'm not sure why that's happening. Um, then I can also copy that and paste it there. And then I can say case 11, you are 11. If I want to line up all the lines, I will go Alt Shift F. And that gives me nice indentation. The default, please remember to change the default and just put whatever you want to there. Remember when you have an error in a line, say you've printed something, and say you forgot to put the semicolon on the end, hover on the red exclamation mark or the yellow light bulb with the little um, warning. It will give you a hint about what's wrong. Over here it's saying semicolon expected. I will type in the semicolon and then I exclamation mark goes away. 
to delete anything, any line that I'm in, and I've got an error, I will go Control E. Control E deletes the current line. And that's all for today.